Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand, and today we're gonna to make a cold brew iced coffee. I'm gonna change up this recipe though and turn it into a chocolate vanilla cream. But the cream is just frothed milk, so it's not extra heavy or full of calories. Making a cold brew coffee takes some time. It's gonna take about 12 hours to make this. You could leave it in as long as 20. So making this a day ahead of time is the way to go. My French press is 34 ounces and the professional recipe with that size is eight tablespoons of coffee, medium grain. So I put that aside and that comes all the way up to one half cup. Good to know the conversion factor. I like my coffee extra rich. So this is an espresso blend. So I'm putting it all the way down to the bottom of my French press and I shake it level. I'm adding 32 ounces of filtered water to that. So bring that water so the grounds are almost to the top. Look at that coffee. Ground coffee has a whole lot of air to it. So it's gonna capture that air and float to the top. I want those coffee grains to have water all around them so they can brew. So I am stirring up those coffee grains. So we're gonna set the plunger on top. But don't plunge it because you want those coffee grains to soak in all the water. So just leave it like that because you want the plunger up and the lid squarely on top. So all those grains mix together and become friends because that little party inside is the chemical reaction of the coffee grains enjoying the water and dissipating all their flavor. Let them have their time. I'm gonna put it in the fridge and that party's gonna go on for at least 12 hours. I'm gonna get the one I put in yesterday. This one's been in there 20 hours. It's the magic of video. Now it's time for the plunge. So very slowly, we're gonna push this down. Can you see that? It needs to take 30 seconds from the top to the bottom. The screen in this French press is so high quality, there's actually five parts to it. You can unscrew it and take it apart for easy cleaning. The glass is extra strong. It is shatterproof, but I wouldn't want to drop it on any hard kitchen floors. It still can break. And the base is a beautiful cutout design and a very high quality steel. And the beaker fits in snug. And the handle is a beautiful design that has a very comfortable feel when you're pouring your beverage. So for my chocolate vanilla cream recipe, I'm pouring one half cup of milk into a glass. I'm adding one quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract to the milk, one teaspoon of unsweetened baking chocolate. That's going right on in. That's 2% milk. That doesn't have a lot of calories in it. And I'm adding one full teaspoon of a natural sugar. Stir that up. And I'm using a little milk frother to froth it. That's what's gonna make it super creamy. This whole drink only has about 90 calories. That's the low fat milk and the sugar. The rest is negligible. This video is sponsored by Cardinal Coffee and Kitchen's French Press, and I'm so glad they did because I love it. Click the link below to get yours. And tell me, what is your favorite coffee recipe for an iced coffee on a hot summer day? Time to get the ice. So fill up your glass to the top. It smells great already. Oh yeah. And for my trick, I pour a little milk in my cup and froth it good. Give it a stir. And now put that froth on top. Oh yeah. That looks great. And give it a sprinkle of the chocolate. Now it's time to try my chocolate vanilla cream French pressed cold brew coffee. Mm. Mm. It is so creamy and delicious and so low in calories and naturally sweet. It lacks the bitterness of coffee that's brewed. Mm. I'm Rebecca Brand. Subscribe to my channel. Let's keep making great things like a chocolate cream iced coffee on a hot summer day. Mm.